one Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got the Scott Atwater uh, 16 horsepower outboard motor. We're going to check it out, um, see what's going on with it, see if we can make a runner out of it. Stay tuned, let's dig in this together. Okay guys, so this is what we got. This is a 1955 Scott Atwater. I've never heard of them, don't know anything about it. There's a tag on it. It is a 1955. Now I've not run the numbers to confirm that yet, but there's the numbers right here. It's a 4200 RPM uh, motor, so I, you know, I got to do some more research on it, but right now I want to see what's going on with it because, like I mentioned in the video where I first showed this, someone took the spark plugs out and there's only one plug wire. So I don't know if that goes to the bottom or top because it does make a difference. Now, the other plug wire used to be up in there, so could be coil issues. I don't know if we can find parts for it. I got to take these three screws out and then I'll have to pull the uh, flywheel off and check it out so let me get you on the stand here I'm fairly certain those screws aren't going to be very tight because like I said someone's had this apart before and I'm guessing my guess is that they couldn't get spark so let's pull this uh, top off of here there's three screws it's hot yeah that one's kind of loose it also says, uh, it says with bail matic I don't know what that means. I've never heard of that before. So, you know, if you guys know anything, please let me know in the comments. But what I, what my plan is, if I can get this running good, I gave $185 for it. If I can get it running good, I'm going to put it on the boat and see how well it does on the boat. And whichever motor I like better, that's easier to start and runs better, you know, I'll keep on it. And I'll sell the other motor, whether it be this one or that one. I see some, um, let me set this down here. I see some loose screws up here on the top. I'll probably have to get me a better screwdriver. No, they're coming out. So... Like I said, someone just threw, they couldn't get spark or something. Maybe they was having a hard time finding parts, but they uh, they just kind of stuck it back together. So the only thing that I see missing so far is uh, spark plugs and a plug wire. So that could be, you know, a coil issue, you know, having a hard time finding parts for, you know, I don't know. Uh, let me get a socket and ratchet for that and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so this seems to be a, a 5 8 So, I didn't think that would be very tight. That's why I didn't have my air tools out or anything. Because, like I said, someone just kind of threw it back together. Kind of gave up on it, I guess. You could say. I was checking the keyway to make sure it didn't have a... didn't have a sheared pin in it so I'm guessing this ain't gonna be hard to come off well it might be let me see there's a set of points there okay I see an issue right there with a coil so we probably won't get it running today and it's got a coil off of it let me get this off here and I'll show you what I'm talking about my guess is that we're having coil issues Maybe they couldn't find parts for it. I don't know. Well, you'd think that flywheel would come off of there. There we go. Like I say, guys, I haven't had a part, but somebody has. I'm going to pull this key out of here. 
put it on the magnet so I don't lose it. I'm going to put it back together and do some research on some parts for this thing. Because I know I don't have parts for it. Now, I'm going to show you what we got here. See, there's a coil here. As you can see, that's toast. Um, and there's supposed to be a coil right here. And the wire would come out here. Now, I'm not sure which one. I like that. It says set points to 20 thousandths. Um, the, uh, actually, the, uh, the points don't look that bad on it. I don't know if I can put it in gear and turn it and see. Make sure they're opening and closing. Yeah, see, this one's not closing. This one here. Could be a weak spring. Let's see if this one opens any. Okay. So there's what we got. Um, my guess is I could probably, if I can find them, throw a set of coils on here. See, that's in bad shape. i probably throw a set of coils on here. I'll bet you this thing would run. Uh, but why would they pull a coil out and leave it out? I don't know. Did they start parting it out for a reason? But it's not locked up. I mean, that's not saying the lower unit's any good. But I think it's worth trying to save it. Um, now nothing's locked up on it, so. Okay. Well, alright. I'm going to do some research on this for a minute. See if I can get parts for it. And make sure, you know, it is a 55. And then we're going to go from there. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, the points are opening. You got to have this key in here because this is your little cam that opens and closes the points. But I can get this to turn for you here. See, that one's opening and closing. And this one is opening and closing. So I got to research this thing some more. There's a loose screw there. I don't... I may have to pull this coil off here and see if there's a number on it. And try to find me some coils. And if I can, I'll probably see if I can just find a set of, par, uh, set of points for this thing too. They're in really good shape. But the, uh, the condensers look a little, a little cracked inside there. But, anyway, I'm going to try to do some, do some research on this thing. And see what, see what I can find out about it as far as points and stuff like that. There's start. That should be up against there, and then when you throttle it up, it goes up like that. So, looks to be in decent shape. But anyway, that's what I'm going to have to do. There's a number here. FW2255. Um, I don't know if that's going to help me out any. But, I mean, I've got a serial number here, but um, there's some other numbers down here on the bottom. I have to look these up and find out if I can still, you know, if I can get parts for this thing. Um, I did look a little bit online. Some guys were saying that you can uh, swap these from a Johnson, which is a Nevinrude. But only this one, the 16 horsepower... They said they didn't think you could do it with the 16, but you could do it on the other engines of the other sizes. So, I don't know. So, anyway, guys, 
sorry we didn't get this running today but um, I think it'll run I really do I think this was the issue they were having no spark why they took this out I don't know maybe they took it out to you know to try to find another coil or and it got lost who knows but I'm gonna see if I can find these coils and get this thing running because this this thing would be so freaking cool okay guys change of plans we're not going to quit on this today because what I did was I checked this the top plug the top plug wire the top coil and it has spark so I went and got me a couple plugs these aren't the exact perfect ones for this motor but it may be enough to get us to fire that top the top cylinder just want to make sure it's not going to hit the plug okay so what I'm going to do is I've got my I've got a little funnel here I can't find my little thing with the hose in it and I've got some two cycle gas here so I'm just going to try to pour a little bit down in here we're going to pull it and see if we can get this thing to fire okay and hopefully well we'll see if we got a runner or not so let's go ahead and put this plug in these things are huge at 18 millimeter threads okay now let's just see let's give it a tug and see if it'll fire for us oh it's got some compression guys it fired It did fire. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put some fuel down this carburetor and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, so I found my little bottle. I squirted some in the carburetor and in the carburetor hose and let's see what happens yeah we got a runner all right let's try to fill this carburetor up a little bit through the hose Put some more in the carburetor itself, or into the intake, I should say. Hopefully it don't run real long, but... Let's uh, check this plug. Looks like it might be getting getting fuel, but that should make it fire. I could have it flooded though. So I did squirt a lot into the carburetor. Well, clear into the intake of the carburetor. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Something fell off. I don't know if it was off of here. Or... Yeah. 
that's that's pretty cool all right let me uh try to get some more gas in the carburetor And remember, it's only on the top plug, too. It's only hitting on the top, so. So it's not like it's gonna sit and run perfect. Let me tell you something, it's got some compression now. I just couldn't let it rest. I couldn't leave you guys like that. <laughs> this thing hasn't been running. He bought it at an estate sale. He was going to put it on one of his boats. He don't have time to mess with it. Whew. And uh, he knew nothing about it. All he knew is they told him it's been sitting in that was in a barn not a shed not a garage it's an actual barn find though I didn't find it he did they said they can't remember how long so it could be 20 30 years they were thinking 15 to 20 but they wasn't positive <sighs> now I just got to find a coil hopefully I can find a two-pack Oh shoot, I got a light blinking. Probably my uh, memory cord. Yeah, I got three minutes. All right, guys. Uh, a coil and the actual right plugs for it. <laughs> Sounded pretty good for running just on one cylinder. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Woo!